today's news headlines. Tra Premier attends inaugural National Energy Council meeting. Health and Education Briefing with Sarawak Governor after Hari Raya. Land ownership issues complicate implementation of power grid. Sarawak Government welcomes corporate body cooperation. Ju Berambeh Sungke Bulia at Miri 2.0, a platform to foster unity. Datuk Dr. Abdul Rahman distributes donation to SK Gersi. Good evening, Sarawak Premier Datuk Patinggi, Tan Sri Dr. Abang Abdul Rahman Zohari, Tun Datuk Abang Openg were among state government leaders and ministers attending the inaugural Malaysia Energy Council meeting at the Prime Minister's office in Putrajaya on Tuesday. The council was recently formed consequently upon the formulations of the National Energy Policy DTN 2022-2040 till by the previous federal administration. The two-and-a-half-hour first meeting was chaired by the Prime Minister, Dato' Sri Anwar Ibrahim, who is also Chairman of the Council. DTN seeks to strategically chart the way forward and outline key prioritise for the energy sector in the coming years in order to achieve the country's low-carbon aspiration. DTN will position the energy sector as a catalyst for social economic development, banking on the tremendous opportunities arising from the energy transition as the world continues to orchestrate efforts towards net zero carbon emissions by 2050. Also attending the meeting was Deputy Prime Minister Dato Sri Fadullah Yusuf, who is also the Federal Minister for Energy Transition and Water Transformation. The Sarawak Premier was accompanied by Sarawak State Secretary Dato Amar Muhammad Abu Bakar Marzuki and Permanent Secretary to the Sarawak Ministry of Energy and Environmental Sustainability, Abang Ahmad Abang Morni. A special briefing to discuss the development of the health and education sectors in the state with the Governor of Sarawak, Tun Pahin Sri Dr. Wan Junadi Tuanku Jaffa, will be held after the Hari Raya celebration. Sarawak Federal Secretary Dato Ahmad Nazri Muhammad Hassan said that Tun Prince Sri Dr Wan Junaidi is very attentive to both sectors which were discussed during the development briefing attended by Prime Minister Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim in Kuching recently. Jadi Tun sangat berminat dan mengambil perhatian yang tinggi terhadap pembangunan kedua-dua sektor tentang pendidikan dan juga kesihatan. Tuan yang, ter, tuan yang terutama memohon untuk kita mengadakan satu taklimat lebih khusus uh, daripada agensi-agensi uh, yang kita tamakan core agensi uh, persekutuan uh, kepada beliau uh, kemudian selepas raya. Jadi saya rasa itu lebih 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 menepati pada masa itu. He said this to reporter after making courtesy visit to the head of state at Astana Negeri Sarawak on Tuesday. Dato Ahmad Nazri added that during the visit, Tun Prince Sri Dr. Wan Junadi also shared on his extensive experience in various ministries while serving as a minister at the federal level. Meanwhile, land ownership issues are believed to be as impediment in effort to extend electricity supply to remote areas. According to Sarawak Deputy Premier Dato Amar Awang Tengah Ali Hassan, the government through Sarawak Energy Berhad, SEB, has planned to connect the state's electricity grid to the areas of Lawas and Limbang to improve the energy infrastructure in these areas. However, he mentioned conflicts related to land ownership rights have made the implementation of these plans challenging. Perancangan kita pada awal tahun ini, tapi macam-macam lah. Renah masyarakat. Jangan nak ambil peluang. Minta compensation itu dan ini. Minta ini, minta itu. Kalau betul-betul kita ada tanah dan kita perlukan untuk nak pacak tower, wailing itu. Kita recognize your right. Kita 
pay compensation. Bukan saja untuk tanah, untuk tanaman, untuk structure. Asalkan ada bukti bahwa tanah itu adalah tanah yang ada surat hak milik ataupun tanah NCA betul-betul ada evidence yang kita memilikinya berdasarkan pada ada. The Bukit Sari Assembly men made this remark while officiating an IFTA event organized by SCB in Lawas on Sunday. Dato Amar Awang Tengah added that clear and legitimate land ownership allows for the smooth, efficient and effective executions of projects. Kita bukanlah sekejap itu. Tapi yang penting kita harus reasonable. Tak ada pun ah di ada ada. Kadang-kadang kita influence by outside people. Kita mempunyai perancangan bukan saja untuk membawa to connect Limbang and Lawas to the state grid, but we have the plan to extend the electricity coverage to cover all the longhouses, the villages. Macam di Lawas ini sampai ke Bukalang itu. Sekarang dia gunakan generator set, dia gunakan adalah keadaan alternatif power itu. Kita tak mau masyarakat kita ketinggalan. The Sarawak government is always open for collaborations with corporations, agency and government departments to help implement programs that benefit the community. Sarawak Minister for Women, Early Childhood and Community Wellbeing Development, Dato Sri Fatima Abdullah said, such cooperation would benefit more members of the local community. On behalf of the state of Sarawak, we actually uh, welcome collaboration you know, with any um, corporate bodies, agencies, departments. Because we believe when we work together as a team, we collaborate together, so much more can benefit us in terms of the uh, critical mass. More people can benefit from the programs that uh, we organize. She said this in a press conference for the future and social financing campaign and the cooperation with Alliance Islamic Bank held in Kuching on Tuesday. It is understood that Alliance Islamic Bank will collaborate with the Sarawak Ministry of Women, Early Childhood and Community Wellbeing Development, KPWK, for several programs including entrepreneurship training for women in collaboration with the Sarawak Women and Family Departments as well as financial literacy, workshop for children according to age groups. Additionally, Dato Sri Fatima stated that her ministry has received apology from Alliance Islamic Bank regarding factual incurrency in one of their advertisements. All right, um, so um, these are the two um, indicators eh, to show the uh, situation of um, um, children in Sarawak. Eh? Um, jadi uh, yang pertama tadi dalam dalam apa nama iklan itu mengatakan 84%. Tapi kalau kita lihat di bawah NHMS indikator yang digunakan iaitu stunting sebagai an indicator of uh, undernourishment and another indicator uh, is wasting kita dapati bahawa dari segi peratusnya jauh berbeza. For the record as of 2022 Only 19.4% of children were stunned and 10.5% were underweight compared to the height in Sarawak. The Ju Brambe Sungke Belia at Miri 2.0 became a platform to foster unity among local, particularly the youth of Miri. Sarawak Minister for Youth, Sport and Entrepreneur Development Dato Sri Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza stated that the IFTA program organized by his ministry with an open and relaxed concept has successfully attracted nearly 2,000 individuals. He said the number of participants has increased when compared to the previous year.
with such enthusiastic participation, Dato Sri Abdul Karim stressed that it indirectly helps to achieve the program's goals of fostering unity and promoting integration among the locals. He said this when officiating the program at the Dataran Kipas Miri on Sunday. During the event, Dato Sri Abdul Karim also symbolically distributed bubo lambo followed by the distribution of assistance in conjunction with Ramadan and the upcoming Adifiti celebrations to 100 Asnaf individuals, including fire victim of Kampung Wireless. In other news, Rawat Deputy Minister for Utility and Telecommunication, Datuk Dr. Abdul Rahman Junadi, presented donation of silat equipment and interactive smart board for Sekolah Kebangsaan Gersik. When met by reporters, the Pantai Damai Assemblyman expressed his hope that the donated equipment would help nurture potential silat athletes from the school. He emphasized that the complete silat equipment, it can enhance the student's proficiency level and enable the development of disciplined athletes who can represent the school up to the national level. Meanwhile, he explained that the interactive smart board aims to enhance innovative and engaging teaching experiences at the school. He added that the provision of such smart technology is also part of the effort to enhance digitalization in education within the Pantai Damai constituency and for use in teaching and learning at schools. And that's the English edition with me, Stephanie Jores. More news can be found in our official portal, ukas.sarawak.gov.my and social media platforms including Facebook and YouTube. We end the bulletin tonight with a preview of the upcoming 21st Sukma Sarawak. Hashtag Sarawak Informasi Rakyat. Have a good night.